Welcome to the Dixie Bell YouTube channel. My name is Amy and I'm from the channel Flip It Furniture. Today we're turning this nightstand into a coastal accent piece. I'm gonna be using the Nautical Life Transfer. For a list of all the products I use in this video and where to buy them, be sure to check out the description box below. Now let's flip it. I start this makeover by removing all the hardware. Then I thoroughly clean my piece using my mixture of Dixie Belle's White Lightning Cleaner. I want to be sure that there's no cleaner residue left on my piece, so I'm just rinsing it with some water and paper towel and just wiping it down. Now I want to fill in the previous holes from my hardware, so I'm using Dixie Belle's Mud in white. And you just speckle it on and wait for it to dry. Now I'm using a 220 grit to sand the surface. This isn't real wood and there's a little bit of chipping so I just want to sand the surface nice and smooth. And then I take the sander and I sand the fronts where I applied the Dixie Belle mud because I want that to be a nice flat surface. Now I'm going to apply one coat of slick stick using my scarlet brush. I love using my scarlet brush with the slick stick because I find it gives a really smooth finish. I wait two hours for this slick stick to dry and then I go in and I apply another coat. Then I wait overnight before applying any of my paint. I wait overnight because slick stick is a gripping primer so I want to make sure that I'm waiting for it to dry completely before I add any of my paint. I cover most of the piece with the slick stick. The only thing I didn't cover was the inside of the drawers because they're in pretty good condition. I'll just leave them alone. It's the next morning and everything's dry. So now I'm using burlap as my base coat. I'm gonna apply one coat, wait for it to dry, and then I'm gonna apply another coat. I want to be sure that I have everything covered in burlap so I do open the drawers and I just paint the tops and the sides and even the bottoms. I could have sanded the hardware holes a little bit smoother but I'm going to use a lot of texture on this piece so it really doesn't matter. That texture is going to cover those holes. Two coats of burlap are all dried, so now I want to start applying sawmill gravy. We're going to use a dry brushing technique to finish this piece. I use a chip brush and a rag, and I apply some paint onto my brush. I need to wipe a lot of the paint off of my brush because we don't want to add a full coverage paint job. We are just going to focus on feathering the brush with a really light hand back and forth across the surface. When I'm dry brushing, I just follow the pattern on the piece that I'm painting. The drawers are going horizontal, so I'm going to paint horizontal. The sides are going to go vertical, so up and down, I'm going to paint up and down. I usually follow the same method every time I dry brush. I use a medium color as my base, and then I use a light color as my first coat of dry brushing. Then I want to add some depth, so I go in with a really dark color, and then I go back with my light color. So I use three colors in all.
And my third color, the darker one, is going to be Dixie Belle's Chocolate. This color will add the depth and dimension that I'm looking for. And here I'm going a little bit heavier with the chocolate for kind of like a shadow effect. Here it looks a little bit scary, but don't worry. We're going in with the sawmill gravy again and we're dry brushing over everything. This last coat is the magic coat. It's the coat that sort of pulls all the colors together. If at any point I feel like something is a little bit too sawmill gravy, to like too light, I go back with my darker brush and I don't dip that brush. I'm just using what's left on the brush just to sort of blend it out a little bit. I continue the same process for the rest of the piece, the top and both of the sides. Now I'm just using my brush with the chocolate on it and I'm just going back and blending some of the lighter areas. And again, I did not re-dip the brush.
Now I'm finished dry brushing and I wanna add a clear coat to this. So I'm using satin and I'm doing this because the texture on this is really rough. I'm not gonna sand it down smooth because I don't wanna lose any of my color on there. I really like how it turned out and I'm afraid if I sand it, I'll sand one of the layers off. So I'm gonna use my satin and just apply a coat on the top and on the whole body actually, just to make it a little bit softer. I waited a few hours for it to dry and now I want to apply my Nautical Life Transfer. I'm just cutting the pieces out that I want to use and placing them where I want them to be and then I'm going to take the backing paper off and just apply it like I would a sticker. Once you stick your transfer onto your piece of furniture, you can just use the stick that Dixie Bell provides and rub that transfer onto the piece. While I'm rubbing the transfer on, I take the sheet, the top sheet, and I start to peel it off really carefully. And then your transfer is left on your piece. I continue applying the transfers where I want them. Here I'm just using my fingernails to split the transfer in the creases and you can use a razor blade or even a scissors. Now I'm using my sanding sponge to go over the entire transfer on all the entire piece. Everywhere I put a transfer, I go over lightly because I wanna make sure that there's no bubbles, that there's no halo. It'll just kinda make it nice and smooth and I know that it's adhered properly. And then I take the last step of putting my clear coat and sealing the transfer on. And why I'm doing this, I just seal the entire piece one more time. Now we need to drill new hardware holes. And the last step is to install the new hardware. I love the way that this piece turned out. It is definitely one of my favorites. I thought about another variation that I was gonna use with the colors for the nautical transfer. I was thinking it would be blue, white, and gray, and that would've looked great too, I think. But I ultimately went with the white, the beiges, because it gave, for me, it has such a sandy, beachy vibe, and I love it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.